ready? Yes, she's probably starving. Nana! Nana! You finally get your food. On Friday, Rick and Courtney did something they haven't been able to do in six months. Actually walk through the doors of the nursing home where their loved ones live and... You're making me cry. Pay them a visit. Courtney came bearing gifts. She usually gets a burger, but today she got chicken nuggets. So she's feeling a little different today. The reunion was sweet. My lunch can wait. Marge was so excited to see her granddaughter, she let her chicken nuggets get cold so she could first... Maybe try it the other way. There you go. Play a game of tic-tac-toe. It feels so good. It makes you want to cry. I'm sorry, but it does. It's just so different than looking through a window or a glass. Rick Baldwin got to hold his wife's hand and really look into her eyes for the first time in a half a year. I think there's a need for me and a need for her. After COVID-19 hit, Florida shut down nursing homes to visitors. Getting them back open took months of waiting and a special task force. And we feel like we weren't being heard and that we had to beg and cry and scream and yell and carry on to get a task force and to make progress. Now, in this particular nursing home, they're going to have their indoor visitation happen in this big day room for social distancing. Six people allowed at one time, so that's one person who lives here and one loved one. Have you traveled? Nope. Before visitors are allowed in, they are screened, temperatures checked, classes on the proper use of PPE and lessons on infectious control is required. At the gardens at Depew Nursing Center in Winter Park, they even have a monitor. Because that's really our goal, is no infections of our patients. I'm smiling under this, you know. <laughs> the goal is to keep everyone happy. I love you, honey. Oh, I love you too. Healthy and together. At Orange County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.